This was another thing we can use magic wand to. Hello everyone, SP Architects here. Today I am going to show you magic wand tool in ARCHIKET. Generally you can reach the magic wand tool by pressing spacebar on your keyboard. But also we have an icon for this tool, which is right here. I have opened the control box toolbar. You can reach this from options menu or window and go to palace. Here we can see the control box. In the control box, we can see the magic wand tool options, which is useless, I think. We cannot use this magic wand tool like so, or I don't prefer. Let's tuck it over here and fix our toolbars first. And I'm gonna show you how to use magic wand tool. Actually, magic wand tool is a hidden tool which we can only use it by hitting spacebar under the commands when they are activated. For instance, line, slab, beam, column, opening, not opening maybe, I don't know, or wall. For instance, I'm gonna make a sketch here, something crazy like this. And this pattern deemed very important, so we are going to use this pattern, not another one. So I copy this one. Why I copied this? Because I'm going to make walls, slabs, other things, and I don't want to lose it. First I go to wall tool. And to enable the magic wand tool, hit the space and you will see a preview. Like this. Blue previews here. If we click that, our walls will be applied to this sketch line with the help of magic wand. For this strange building, I am going to create some walls and rooms. Let's go to wall tool again. And... One more here and I'm going to use these openings as a room and I'm going to use these floors but they will be separate floors. So I got slab tool and with the polygonal method I'm gonna create something like this or not. Of course not we are going to use spacebar tool again to enable magic wand tool and click inside that's all now we can use our independent floors if we go to 3d window we will see something like this but not for only wall we can use beams also but i want to use the outermost sketch so Again, I'm gonna use my very important sketch. But unfortunately, it passes through in the middle of the beam. So let's hit undo and change reference axis location right here. And place once more or other location. Place once more. Now I can move this to our building. Yes, all the deaths is correct and we will get beams something like this in the 3D window. Alright, now we are going to train our magic wand tool with a complex screen. We have something like this and in the 3D window this is a very complex terrain landscape and we are going to create a road and when we are creating that we are going to use magic wand tool. We can use lines or we can use a spline. Let's try spline tool but generally it creates problem towards final steps. Nonetheless I am gonna use that. Our road will start here and will turn to, to a spline curve and finish like this. Of course to create a road we need area on the spline. 
So in order to create an area for the spline, we have additional options but first option is to offset this spline. Ok, let's offset, let's duplicate to its own place and click the spline, click the offset. I'm gonna input here 2000. As a second step, we can offset this direction too. But anyway, let's try this one. And I will just copy this terrain on the same place. But this time, instead of placing or putting inside it, I am going to subtract this area. Let's click the corner, hit the minus, click the minus. And of course, hit the space bar. And we will see some preview here. And once we satisfied with the preview, we can click. But sometimes we can get problems. And we can fix them manually. In order to continue, we can click this points too and continue subsection operation. This time I'm going to create a line in addition to get a help and make the same process. There we go. Now we can delete this part and we can delete this line. Of course, we can get rid of the splines. And in the 3D window, we will see something like this and it also mesh with the terrain. Now, the other step will be elevating this. I don't know, 100 millimeters. And changing its material. Maybe pavement. This was another thing we can use magic one tool. Sometimes you can see some problems with this tool. For instance, we are going to use our magic wand tool on this circle. And I'm gonna use a tool here. I don't know, maybe a shell. And this click the space bar. It's not working, no problem. Let's change the construction method and structure. Now this time we can click. And it's ask us an extrusion and let's click OK. This works okay, but let's create some problem. I'm gonna create another spline. It works okay. If we click our created element, we can see the points are get created. But sometimes these points are not enough or you may want the points more or less, you must change your magic wand options. In order to change the magic wand options, you can just go to design and click magic wand settings. From the bottom of the window, you can see the best match was selected it means the points will be assigned automatically. If you want to create fixed points distance, you can use the linear segments. And you will see these bugs are opened. And we can see 1 meter segment length here. Let's click that. Click OK. And create our shell once more.
as you can see you can see the distance are the same or you can make reverse i'm gonna hover over here hit the tab and i'm going to see spline and click and copy go to design magic bounds options and this time let's try segments along circles and use now as you can see our shell was assigned on the each curve of our spline there you go is how you can use magic bound tool in archkit i hope you have enjoyed with the tutorial if so please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe by the way we have supporters for the channel if you want to support the channel also you can go to my patreon page and support me there and with there you can reach this file and additional project files this one and our another tutorial files all right guys thank you for watching until the next time have a nice day